came back up, so hopefully we don't have another crash. Oh, well, I see. This is definitely like make, but the the random crash like right at the start there is not making me interested in continuing to stream this game, but we'll see. <laughs> Hey, this is a Bethesda game. It's about as stable as a <laughs> egg in a brick factory. That's a weird. I was gonna say, like, I'm trying. I, I was trying to wrap my head around that one. It's about as stable as something that's unstable in a thing that's always supposed to be stable. It's uh, uh it's as stable as it's as stable as a Joker on the Dead of the Week that ends in a Y. Eh, for yeah, perhaps. You know, apparently there was a, uh, it was actually a Batman comic where Batman actually left the Joker to die. Hmm. Probably not the last, probably not the last time. Not, not the first time, either. I mean, hell, in, uh, CW, uh, he kills him. Yeah, I was watching a random clip from, I don't know what it's from, but it's from a more recent DC show. And uh, it shows uh, somebody finding out that Bruce Wayne was Batman. You're like, no, in hindsight, it's pretty obvious that Bruce Wayne is Batman. And uh, young Bruce Wayne was like, you should see who Superman is. Mm. I'm being assaulted by all sides. I should probably write my wheel while I'm doing this. I, Storm, being of sound mind and body, debatable on the mind. Unquestionable on the body. Hey. Dude, you're missing an eye. I mean, that's fair. I mean, it's still there, it just doesn't work. Eh. I mean, hell, I can't say I'm of a sound body. Hell, I haven't even said I'm of sound mind. Okay, I love how the oper how the disciples are watching me kill the operators and not interfering. And then they're like, they've got this, right? Now one dies. Right? Okay, so now the, the thing to see is if the people inside the parlor will de-aggro, and if I could sneak in, pick one of them off, and sneak back out, like, I can pick them all off eventually. And here's yeah. me of saying that's a lost cause and come back when I'm higher level. Uh, it's hard to get higher level than I already am. <laughs> ah. I mean, I have most of the damage increasing perks already at this point, so... Okay, let's try sneaking back in and see what happens. Uh, it's a shame that stealth boys are useless in this game. They work for all about two seconds and then they wear off. Like, stealth boys used to be actually really good. It used to be really cool when you found a stealth boy. Now it's like, you find stealth boys everywhere and they're like completely useless. Oh no, they did not de-aggro. He says, no, very well that I'll be the one climbing up the ladder. Look, we can climb up these ladders. Yeah, but I'm the only one doing it. Well, you're the you're the main character. You're the protagonist. You have to do everything for them. It's the rules. It's the law. <laughs> I just imagine Mr. Mosby from uh, Zack and Cody. It's the law. <laughs> Man, I really hope that Mr. Tipton paid him well for the bullshit he put up with with London Tipton. Well, the good news is they can't seem to follow me outside. 
The bad news is, is that they don't seem to de-aggro very quickly. Maybe if I try waiting an hour? Hold on, how do I wait an hour? Oh, uh, I have to sit down to wait. Um, so I killed this person and instead of falling over, they're like bent over like they're kneeling. <laughs> So let's wait one hour. <coughs> okay, now let's go back in and see if that reset them at all. Oh, that's handy. My friend let me know when you invited me to the party. Oh, that's nice. Oh, because I've, I've got the PlayStation app. Yeah, but going in and out of this load zone is going to take forever. <laughs> like... Maybe after I pick off a couple of them, I'll be able to take Mags and William on, but... Yeah, I should be able to pick off another one. Ooh, level up! William did not find me. He was I was still in caution, but he was running right at me as he was about to find me. <laughs> oh I I forget that um we're a little ahead of the stream. Yeah. Maybe I need to set mines. It's like throw down some mines. Like but the problem is is I've got uh I have two more bosses to kill after. I mean, technically speaking, I need to wipe out all the raiders, but like, I have two more bosses that have to die to, be, to consider the mission to be complete. Whoops, mm. that was not what I meant to do. All right, so give them a minute. Let's let William reset himself. This disciple is lucky. I'm not at war with that the disciples right now, fast. so. I'm not going to kill the Disciple yet. Oh hey, there's uh, Sierra Paravola, and who's that with her? Oh, it's a Disciple. I'm not going to kill Sierra Petrovira. She's a, just an absolute Nuka-Cola nut. Now I've got to figure out where, that, where to go, because... It's going to be where the pylons are, but I've got to find the one that's got a chair, got, um, stairs. A ladder, rather. Yeah, I think I've killed all the operators <laughs> that are outside, anyways. Alright, hopefully he's moved away from the door so I can try to get another kill. Alright, let me grab a mine. No, that's not that one. I need to get some more pulse and uh, plasma mines. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's that one. Oh, hey, I'm hidden again. Don't set off my mines! Well. Retreat! I can't retreat! Ah! That must have been the wrong door. Okay, that was uh, not what I expected to happen. I don't know how they... I, I, I guess when I missed, they all found me, but it's like they all kind of got stacked up real quick. Okay, so I'm back in. So I'll throw down the mines.
I got a couple shops off on Lizzie. Why are so many of you? Jeez. Honestly, if I could fix up my power armor, I could probably take them. It's not there, and I can't send it that way. Did my mines disappear? No, they're right next to the door now. Shoot. Oh, hello. Yes, I have a crit. I'm not going to use it right this minute, but I do in fact have a crit. Yes, I think that's all their backup dead. No, no, not even close. Retreat! Retreat! <laughs> They have consider they have three less troops now, so that's Seriously, I'd like to at least can I at least walk like five miles or oh hell, five feet before having to be attacked by more monsters. Come on. Jeez. Another one. <laughs> if I was in a horror movie, my phone rings. Killer, I see you. Me, do I look good? Okay, let's try this again. Hopefully they've reset themselves, and I can set up the mines, and I can lure William into the mines. Not that I'm under any uh, false hopes that it will actually finish him off, but... Wait, I wasted my crit and didn't actually hit him. That's bogus. Well, come on. Go into the mines. Why didn't the mines go off? <laughs> That's. Is there a mod that? Is there a mod that? Does that that protects that? Protects the mines, or or stops them from detonating, or something like that. Like no, you know, no, I don't think so. There's a Pacific. There is a Pacific grenade that or mine that requires a detonator, but I don't. I'm not using those. 
Uh, just the game being janky, I guess. But I had him lined up with a headshot, with a crit, and it just, like, didn't do anything. Like, a crit has to hit. And it didn't. <laughs> so that's, uh, not great. <laughs> uh... I just hope they don't figure out they can follow me outside. I do feel severely cheated though. That was my only crit and it got it lo and I lost it. Especially because it was on my instigating uh, laser pistol. It would have done a massive amount of damage. Now, where are my mines? Okay, they're there. Why aren't they working? Oh, because they're upside down. <laughs> well, I'll do it. No, they won't stay right side up. What the heck? Mm -hmm. Hello, Mags. There, I got her in the head. Hopefully she retains the damage, so... I'll need to switch over to Selena's song though, because Selena's song will do way more damage than the pistol's doing now that she's taken damage. What does it do? Cold damage or something? Uh, so on a crit, it has a chance to freeze, but uh, it won't work on bosses. You know, I, I, I again today saw somebody comparing um, the sword hero Ren Amaki to Kirito. And like, yeah, there's definitely some inspiration there, but they are very different characters. Yeah. Ren is, Ren is well, well, and... I, I, Go ahead, sorry. So I was thinking, uh, is Ren the, sword, is Ren's the sword hero, right? Yes. Damn, I was I thought it was on what the spear hero for a second, because I had a perfect joke up for that. Sorry. Do you still want to say it? Sure. It's like, it's like, it's like, yeah. Uh one thinks they're a playboy, uh and the other everyone else thinks they're a playboy. Well it's funny, it's like I was um I, I'm I was listening to the Rising <laughs> of the Steel Tiro audiobook and um I got to the story about um Nope, she's back to full health. I have to kill her while inside here. I mean, that makes sense. It's mildly annoying, though. Well, it means you can't cheese the fight. You've got to beat her. She's protecting her other minions, so I can't kill him. Well, then kill her first. Dang it, I'm gonna die again. Dang it! Oh. Don't you? Don't you have healing? I don't try them. I do, but I, I was I was shot so fast I couldn't heal. There's just too many of them in that room. That's why I've been trying to pick them off. It's just that room is a killing zone. It's like... Hmm. Okay. Okay, that scared the crap out of me. Oh yeah, that would, wouldn't it? <laughs> Okay. Ma Goodbye. 
I didn't hit anyone? <laughs> Okay, that's the scaver dead. All right. I'm gonna have so much XP. I'm gonna level up so many times once I finally get to Altisha. Because uh, in this game, you um, you tally XP at rest points, rather than, you know, just get I'm the dead. XP as soon oh, as you... Oh, no, shit! You... Sorry. I got stuck in a, um... I got stuck in a load screen, sorry about that. Uh... Shoot, 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 quantum. Uh... Jet. Ah. Okay. Um. Sorry. What were you saying, Joe? Um. I'm gonna have so much XP. Well, I have so many level ups because in this game, uh, you don't um, you don't get the XP straight away. You've got to tally it up at a rest point. Um. Mm -hmm. And then you level up. I've got an item that prevents me from tallying the XP, so once I rest, I'm not leveling up. Because there is an area in the game, pretty late in, costs 30,000 to use, but you get three times the XP if you use it when you to use it to tally. So uh, I'm currently sitting. For context, I need for my next level up, I'm about one third of the way through, no, halfway through the level up. I need 45,000 XP. I currently have 179,000, so just comes up by three. Uh, I'll probably level up by, actually, uh, theoretically, I should level up enough to get to 99. Okay, I am now hiding in a bathroom. Drop a quick save. Yeah, if I do all these side quests, I should be a very nice high level for the uh, killer dungeons that I'll post game. Going somewhere, Lizzie? Ha <laughs> she's dead. Escape! Run! Run! Okay, no, Lizzie's dead. No, no. <laughs> but yeah, I'm uh, I'm really excited to play Midnight Suns now. It'll oh. be a while yet before I actually do so, because I've got a few Marvel games to play first. But yeah, I found out not only is it turn-based, it uses cards for combat! Oh, interesting. Uh, Miniature Nerd's been playing it. So I'm really looking forward to now because you know I love me some turn-based and you know you, I love me some card stuff. Yep. I often say Joe loves his card-based stuff. But yeah, I've got I've got a lot of Marvel games to get through first. I've got... Marvel vs. Capcom 3 and Ultimate. Uh, I've got uh, the Tales of Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, Spider-Man Miles Morales. Avengers. And Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, Ooh. and uh, Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2. Okay, we just got the cover for uh, Sword Art Online 26. It has uh, Silica is uh, primarily on the, the cover with with Pina. Liz is at the bottom left, and Shion is 
near her, so. Mm. Silica hasn't been on the cover in a, quite a while. Or is that just gonna be more of a... That the sort of are after attacking the story. me now, what the hell? Okay. You, you killed Lizzie. Lizzie isn't no disciple. She's an operator. At least I didn't. Oh. At least I thought she was. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe she moonlighted. It's not moonlighted on the side or something. I'm uh, moonlighting. It is doing something. I think. So. I think the disciples hated Lizzie. They. I think they wanted to kill her. Exactly. You took that away from them. Maybe. <laughs> Remember, how many people have you seen in certain some movies go, You can't kill him. I, I want to do it. And end up saving their lives instead. I mean, there's Vegeta. There's... Um... Probably Frieza wouldn't be surprised. Nah, nah, nah. He doesn't mind if someone else does the work. Do the work. You don't have to catch Frigatito, Frigatito catches itself. Because it pushes the button on the Pokeball to see what happens. Now, if only I could separate Mags and her brother. Oh great, we all threw grenades simultaneously. Dang it. Oh god, that reminds me of, um... <laughs> it, that, that reminds me of, um... Three Grenade Roulette. It was in, um, what's it called? Um, The Return of Zond... Um, the Triple X, The Return of Zonda Cage. Yeah. Um... Uh, and they're all around a table, and they all pull out grenades, and they start sliding them to each other, and then they're holding the pin in with their thumbs, or the trigger mechanism with their thumbs, and then sliding them back and forth, catching them, and... You gotta be shitting me! More bullshit. I had, I had Mags bang to right, and a photograph fell down and blocked my kill. Pat, pat. Oh god, this quest. I'm gonna get a lot of XP for it, but I'm gonna be wearing my invincibility suit because the recommended level to fight her is level 99, and I'm not level 99. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get mags down if it's still possible this time. Looks a bit. Come on, reload. That. Max is dead. All right, run, run. Hold on. It's just William. I will run or heal, because I'm healing. <laughs> I'm healing. Got him. The operators are dead. It took a lot of ammo, but I got it. Spoilers, I'm behind. I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, they are dead. Fragmentation grenade. Ooh, very nice. Okay, and I got a level up, so let's spin that. All right, so let's see. What are we gonna take this level? I could get twenty-five percent more damage right now. Honestly, that's probably the best 
best bet. 25% more damage. I can't really argue with that. No, uh, passive passive buffs are usually a, a, a good way to go, and when it's damage, can't get much better than that. So let's see what my weapons are up to now. Selena's song is up to oh, wow. Um, that's a uh, three hundred and thirty-nine. Sniper laser is up to two hundred and seven, but it's double damage on the first hit when the target is at full health. So that's a uh, four hundred and fourteen damage on the first hit. Which is why it's called Sniper Laser. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's I can't my... believe I remembered that. It's like I just like I, I just I remember my loadout like in, intuitively. It's like yeah, huh? Even though it's been like four years since I last played this character. Man, somebody posted a bunch of cute marionette photos on Facebook. Um, speaking of um, girls who find cute, um, I had a very bad idea, oh. but I kind of want to do it. Um, um, an RP where um, Marnie goes to um, a Paldea. Yeah. And gathers the um, four dark legends and um, gets possessed by them. Okay. So it's up to uh, it's up to um, well, Yuna? presumably Yuna to uh, to save her. Yuna's already caught the four dark legends. So. <laughs> Not that I'm using them, but I've, I have caught them. Okay. I'm I, I'm using Shimpao. It is dropping bodies. It's lovely. Until that's I got uh, corrupt. That's the snow one, right? Yeah, I start with the the sword. Yeah, I'm only interested in um the fish and the and the and the cat because. I think everyone's interested in the fish. The fish is kind of cute, and also. Just the number of dragons that were guarding the the fish. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we are in full open warfare at the moment. I mean, the boss is down. And these guys should be speaking, right? Well, these are the disciples, so uh, we're we're heading to fight the disciple bosses right now. Uh, I've got no idea what the difference is, remember, I'm... Basically, the disciples like to stab people. Fair enough. Whoa! Ow, that hurt. You're gonna make the perfect course. Am I? <sighs> I might actually make the perfect corpse at this rate. Nisha came out to fight me. Okay, Sierra Petrovera, you need to get out of here. This is, like, extremely dangerous. I didn't know Nisha could come outside. Okay, that's another one dead. All 
Alright, let's drop a quick save so I don't lose my place if I die. Or, we l or like to be called a coward save. Nisha, where are you? Come out and face me, Nisha. Oh, Nisha got frozen! <laughs> it's like flying off into space! Nisha, come back! <laughs> I say I'm sorry for choosing the fight, but I'm not sorry for choosing the Did fight. Did you see that? That was glorious! <laughs> she got frozen and flew up into the sky. And came back down, and I just killed her when she landed. <laughs> Gage is gonna need to die too, but that can wait. For now, it's time to take down the operator's leader. Oh wait, that was the operator's leader. Hold on, wait. So is that the only one left? Is um, Mason? Oh wow. Yeah, Nissa. Oh, okay. What was Nissa doing outside instead of inside the... I don't know. Hey, I'm not going to complain about not having to go into the theater. <laughs> oh, Mason! You know, maybe Lizzie was a, the one I was thinking of. Maybe she was the a disciple. But for some reason was over at the operators. I don't know. You know what? It works out. Oh, Mason! Okay, here we go. That invincibility- oh, that immortality thing was glorious, by the way. The one from yesterday. Have you considered the implications? It's like- Oh, right, <laughs> right. I have never la I haven't laughed so hard in ages. <laughs> God, I was, I was splitting at the sides. I was cracking up so hard. It's like, you were gonna wish for immortality too, for Frieza. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, I know, but then I just thought about it, and then and I decided against it. I was just gonna wish I was tall or something. I know, the thing is, the only downside I have is that Goku got it. Because I'm like, Goku's not that smart. He needs, he, he needs, like, he needs her, his wife to draw what to buy in the market and the number of them rather than actually write down like five, like five, like cow meat. It's like she draws five cows instead. <laughs> so he brings, her, does he bring home full, five full cows? I mean, I wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> Honestly, though, he doesn't seem that stupid, but from what I've seen. But then again, Kai cuts out a lot of the side stuff, so maybe that's yeah, he's, more he's, obvious. He's, okay, he's a genius in battle, and he has his moments where he's smart. Very rarely. But then it all goes away when, um, when Trunks gives someone a mouth-to-mouth -mouth, um, with a bee, and he goes, So, Trunks! What was that? Is that what? What you you've never seen a kiss? Like, hey Vegeta, what was that you were doing? What you're married? And what? No, I'm not oh, even. Oh come on, Vegeta, good. tell me. That's not good. I hope I didn't die as I went through the door. <laughs> Yeah, um, I wasn't expecting them all to be waiting for me. They're like, he he's coming, boys! <laughs> Light him up! Light him up! You know, I, I might have to get my power armor repaired and bring my power <laughs> armor to bear against those assholes.
You know, it'd be nice if the traitors would draw arms and help, but then again, maybe they're afraid the bomb collars will blow their heads off. Hmm. I'm alive! I can breathe! I can fight! Okay, um, we're gonna need to think of a plan because just going through that door isn't going to work. Drop an operator to shank. Harvey, get out of the way. Harvey, don't just sit there and drink a Nuka Cola. This is a battle zone. Harvey, this is a battle zone. Get out of here. Okay, so... Where the heck did you come from? I can find my power armor. Oh, there it is. It's over by the uh, cola cars. Yeah, so let's go over and get my power armor and see if we can get my power armor fixed up. Because it's in bad shape. <laughs> Yeah, I've got an arm and a leg badly damaged, and I'm missing one of my arms. I don't care to talk much. What did you talk against? The swamp? Huh? Uh, that was against uh, Coulter, the the oh, the old overboss, and his bullshit uh, ex machina uh, energy shield that makes him almost invincible. So he get to he got to sit there and plank me with as much damage as he wanted while I had to squirt him with a water gun to get rid of his barrier before I could do damage. <laughs> Look, Sierra, this is a very delicate situation. Oh, Porter Gage! Time has come for you to die, Gage. I might have to return to the Commonwealth to fix my armor and come back. Oh, hello, Porter Gage. He's gonna kill me. And that is a lot of yummy XP. Another magic tech suit, which I don't need because I've already got one. Well, I found out what the ultimate prize is for finishing the island sanctuary in Final Fantasy XIV. It's, uh, actu it's actually really nice. It's a motorcycle. Apparently I had enough uh, stuff on me just to fix my entire suit of power armor. 
Okay, Mason. You may have won the first round and forced me to retreat. But I have a feeling I'll win the next round. <laughs> oh, wait, one of my arms isn't fully fixed. <laughs> God, that sounds like a, like a um, slapstick comedy routine. Also, can somebody clean the dead body out of my house, please? Like, we don't use the word slave anymore, but at the same time... Nope, I can't. I'm completely out of... Um... Oh, I didn't actually fix most of this. I only fixed a little bit of it. Oh, well, it's fine. It's enough. It's fixed enough that I should be able to get through the gate. That's the main point. Worst comes to worst, I know where another suit of power armor is. It's a Duke Cola power suit armor. Not that getting it's going to be easy because it's going to require me to kill a bunch of stuff, but. Oh man, I want the Nuka Cola Quantum Power Armor. It's the best power armor in the game. Can't give up now. Nuka World! The funny thing is I got it on my main character that I only rarely use power armor on because they're a stealth character and power armor is like the furthest definition from stealth. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna drop to hidden. I'm about to use up one of my fusion cores. I probably should have switched over to Righteous Authority so I can do a lot of damage quickly. Yeah, that's the suit of power armor I was talking about. I know where to grab it. The Nuka Cola power armor. It's even got Nuka Cola Girl on both legs. Oh, wow. Uh, that's not good. Yeah, nope. Um, so the power armor isn't making much of a difference. Yeah, nope. Power armor's not going to make much of a difference. I'm going to need to get cover real fast. <laughs> so how exactly does power armor work? Like, what's what's? It's a defensive. It's a defensive mm -hmm. item. Naturally, yeah, right? it provides a whole bunch of. Um, it provides a whole bunch of armor and damage resistance compared to other um, armors in the game. It has a lot more. So, so that's an Iron Man suit and more Iron Man Mark One. Sort of. Um... It's definitely not a fully integrated weapon like the Iron Man suit is. That's not going to work. Why did I pull that out? Okay, I have Righteous Authority out. So is there any offensive benefits to power armor or none at all? Uh, sometimes, yes. Depends on the suit of power armor. Okay, hold on. We, oh, we're, yeah, we're gonna need to um, tip things in our favor. So, first thing is buff jet. That's increasing my HP. Deathclaw stake. Okay, and of course I reload right when I'm under the effects of buff jet. Yeah, I don't like my odds of surviving this. 
Yeah, so at that point, my armor was completely useless. So... I, I just... I, go, I had a leg left. I just don't know how I'm supposed to do that. I'm going to have to revert save to the quick save. Like, I can't pick off any of the people in the amphitheater. Load. What time is it? It's 6.52. I might call it here in a minute and just, like, I'll have to think about or figure out how exactly I'm going to... Maybe if I go through with a stealth boy on, I might be able to get to a, to a position where I can pick off a few people and then withdraw. Hmm. Maybe. Because it's like, I can't possibly fight all of them at once. Not with energy weapons. <laughs> energy weapons are not known for dealing with crowds very well. They're good for, like, high damage, but, like, it's no minigun. <laughs> okay, I was, I was or, wondering, like, so as far as, far as I understood, you had some pretty great weapons, but, like, why was it so difficult? And is that why? Because that's what, um... Well, I, weapons more for? well, see, I could have automatic weapons, but I haven't set myself up for automatic weapons. And technically speaking, I'm kind of fighting at a disadvantage. I don't have a flamer. Flamer is an energy weapon, and I could definitely use it. And um, also, I could I could use the shish kebab too because it does energy damage. And I don't have the shish kebab. It's a flaming sword, by the way. And honestly, though, I don't have the stats to wield the sword, because I haven't done, put anything into melee. Okay, so let's let's do this. All right, I'm going to get out of the armor. All right, I am going to drop into stealth. I am going to pop a stealth boy. Let me, let me drop another quick save before I do this. I'm going to pop a stealth boy. We're going to go through the door and see what happens. Honestly, if I could just get Mason down, I could leave and leave everybody else in there. Okay, the good news is that... Oh, I see why everybody's upset. I already came in here and killed some people. Whoops. Well, that definitely would have worked better if I hadn't just fired. Does this part like go, you fool? Possibly. You fool! I feel sorry for those doggos. Me too, but there's nothing I can do about it. I need to withdraw. Where's the door? Um, I thought it was behind you to the left, wasn't it? Like. You no, over the there wall. we go. Thank goodness. <laughs> okay, I picked off a couple of the people at the gate, so that will hopefully help me get in a little bit easier. <laughs> mm. Oh, right, I remember because I retreated because I thought I was on the verge of dying, but it turns out I wasn't, but... Why not loud? I don't want to do this quest. Why do Autumn accept it? No, she can stay squashed underneath her fat ass chocobo. Okay. 
All right, I am alive somehow. I won't be able to do that trick forever though. I only have so many um, stealth boys. If only there was a place where I could shoot down into the amphitheater and cause some mayhem. Is there another way into the amphitheater? It doesn't look like it. It looks like that's the only way in, but... Hmm... Harvey, I am in the middle of killing all of the raiders that the punk the punk raiders that you sicked on me. You know, it probably would have been smarter to have gone and talked to Harvey or not to Harvey to Mason to initiate the the uh like to be inside and shot him down inside and then fled. But that's not how we chose to do this thing. I wasn't even going to pretend to, to play nice with the Raiders. <laughs> Alright, I guess we're going to try that trick again. See if I can't pick off a few more of the gate guards. And then we'll, we'll probably call it for the week. And I may have to look up some strategies for doing this. Cause... Alright, drop quick save. In case something goes wrong, I can revert save and get my stealth boy back. <coughs> five, five. That's the backstage. Okay, that's another load zone I can go through. I wonder if they can follow me through that load zone. Whoops. I just alerted everybody in the backstage that I'm here. Sorry, doggo. Dang it, I can't get a good shot. No, 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 not a grenade. Take a buff jet again.
Oh, we're nowhere near done. Shoot. There's so many enemies down here. Why are there so many and that hard to kill? Is this why you need things like miniguns? No, you can you can you can beat them without it. It's just there's there, it's this is a uh, this was an in-game DLC when it came out. Like so, this was intended for like high-level characters. But you see, you can get much higher level than this. I mean, I can, but it, it would take a long time. But like at my power level, it's harder to get stronger than I currently am. And it might help if I get sniper laser back out so I can do maximum damage to these people with my first shot. You guys are okay. I don't I think I got him. Hold on. Right, there's someone angry down here. Oh god, the Brahmin skin couch. Nope, there's at least one enemy left. Yeah, I definitely don't need a bear roaming around. Alright, I think I've killed them all. So the question is, can the people upstairs follow me in here? I told you that cow was trouble. She took off with all the cameras. All of them. What are we gonna tell Mason? Man, this is the last time I let your pecker risk mine. You go tell Mason what happened. And you leave my name the fuck out of it. If you're still alive tomorrow. Maybe we can still be friends. Don't worry, I won't hurt the cat. Man, look at this absolute slaughter. Okay. I'm gonna guess they probably can't follow me into the amphitheater. At least I seriously hope they can't. Because if they can't, I can use the amphitheater to take these guys down. Did you give away my location? We're about to see if they can follow me in here. Uh, the answer is yes. Yes, they can follow me in here. Okay, that's gonna be where I call it for this week. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, thank you for, for watching. If you did, I hope to catch you next time as we, uh... Uh, hopefully, figure out how to take down these guys. Thank you very much, and have a great night, everyone. Goodbye. One, ten.